As designers, we spend a lot of time working on various website designs that share common elements between different sites. Now, with Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor's cross-site copy and paste feature, you can drastically reduce the amount of time you spend on these repetitive tasks. In this video, I'll show you a couple of ways in which you can dramatically speed up your design time as well as simplify copying both content and styles between different sites. What's even more useful, though, is that you can manage all of the copy and paste actions in only four clicks. Now, if this has piqued your interest, let's take a look at how it all works. Before we do, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Paul C, and I'm here working with Brainstorm Force to bring you a selection of tutorials on getting more from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. Okay, with that out of the way, let's take a look at how we can start saving time and making our design lives easier with cross-site copy and paste. So let's start off with a really simple example. I've got two sites created. One has pretty much a full site on it. The second one is basically a blank site with nothing on. So we're going to use our first site, which has kind of been designed for us, and we're going to use that as the donor site. So we're going to copy information from here over to our second site. So let's start off by taking this header section. As you can see with the header, we've got graphics, we've got text, we've got images in the background. What we're going to do is make sure that's selected. We're going to right click and we're going to choose the option for UAE copy. Once we've done that, we've copied that now and we're ready to move over to our donor site and put that information in there. So let's come over to our blank page. Again, I've got Elementor open. And what you need to do now is simply create a section. Doesn't matter what kind of section. We're going to use this just so we can access that copy and paste feature. Going to come over our new blank section, right click and choose UAE paste. Once we do that, that'll paste everything into our page and then we can just delete that top section. That one we just created and you can see everything is in place. The image has been transferred over and everything else. Now, what I want to draw your attention to, first of all, and a question you may be asking yourself is, well, where's the image come from? Is this just linking back to the first site where we copied from? No, it hasn't. What we're going to do is let's update this page and let's just go into our media library. And as you can see, inside our media library, all of the assets, all the graphic assets, the background image, the knife and so on, have all been transferred over and stored inside the media library for our donor site, the site we've pasted this information into. So this means that once you paste anything you copy and paste between sites into the new site, all of the assets are also transferred over and stored on the new site as part of the media library. Now, the second thing you're probably asking is, well, what kind of content can I actually copy and paste? Well, you can copy and paste all manner of different things, including text, images, videos, maps, rows, columns, sections, any widget. It's pretty expansive on what you can do. Now, what about things like animations? Do they transfer it over as well? Absolutely. Let's come back over to our sample homepage we've pasted into, and let's refresh this. And you find once it refreshes, the animation has been copied over with it as well. So all those things are being copied in between the different sites to make your life considerably quicker and easier. So now we've seen how easy it is to copy and paste between different sites. What about editing the content after you've pasted it? Is that possible? Absolutely. Everything is fully editable. It's just going straight into Elementor and allows you to do everything you could normally do with Elementor. So we want to take this text and change that. We can edit the text if we want to. We can easily come in and set the styling on there. So we could change the font to something completely different. For example, let's go for this font. You can see immediately picks up that styling. We can do anything we need to to just basically take all the starting points and then edit it, customize it, do whatever we want to do to make sure it fits perfectly inside our new website. So now that we've seen how easy it is to copy and paste between sites, what about different widgets, different plugins and so on? Does that work as well? Well, yes, it does. The only thing you need to ensure is that both sites have the plugin installed and activated, and that's it. So let me give you an example. We're going to take this ultimate add-ons for Elemental widget for the before and after slider. We're going to drop that onto our first site, and we'll just set up some basics. So we'll set an image for the first side, and we'll set an image for the second side, just making sure we've got nice large images to work with. There we go. Okay, so we now have a before and after. If I just come up and I just do my right click and we say UAE copy, and we'll go over to our sample site, our test site, we're gonna drop this information in. We'll do the same again, we'll just add in a blank column, right click and we'll say UAE paste. And there you go, everything has now been transferred over because we have ultimate add-ons for Elementor on both sites. Really couldn't get any simpler than that. Now, we've seen how you can copy and paste between different sites, but can you copy and paste between different pages on the same site? Again, yes, you can. It's all very, very easy. So let's come back to our first site. 
So what we're going to do is we've got this before and after. And again, we just make sure we'll copy this. We'll update our page so it saves that. And then we're going to go and open up another page on the same site. So let's exit back to our dashboard. Once we're inside there, we'll simply come back into the list of pages. And from there, we're just going to open up or create a new page. Let's add a new page just so we've got something completely blank to start with. OK, so we'll just call this paste test and we'll save this as a draft. Once we've done that, we can just open this up with Elementor and we can paste in our content from our other page. So let's add our blank section in and we're just going to paste using UAE paste again. And there you go. Everything has now been pasted in. And the nice thing with this is because all the settings, everything are transferred between these copies and pastes, whether it's a site by site basis or a page by page basis, then all you need to do is make changes to the images or anything else. All those settings, everything has been transferred between the copy and the paste. Now, you may be wondering what happens if you're using a different theme on the different sites. What impact will that have? Can you still use this copy and paste feature? You can still use the copy and paste feature. The only thing you have to consider is that the pasted widget will inherit the styling from the theme on the current site until you set the styling and the theme styles or specific widget styles. So you can still edit everything, but just bear that in mind if you're copying and pasting between different themes. Other than that, everything else will work perfectly. Now, the final thing I want to show you is you may want to disable the site-wide copy and paste feature. All you need to do to do that is come into the settings section, go into UAE, and from there you have options to enable and disable every single feature. So all we need to do is scroll until we find the option for site-wide copy and paste and simply hit deactivate. That will then turn that feature off and it will be unable to be used until you switch it back on. So hopefully that's demonstrated how useful and how powerful this site-wide copy and paste feature from Ultimate Adults for Elementor is, and also how easy it is to use and only four clicks to get everything done. Super quick, super easy, and a massive time saver, whether you're an individual, a developer, an agency, doesn't matter. This just saves you time and makes the whole process really simple. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and smash the bell icon to be notified as soon as new content has been added. As always, all applicable links are in the description below. If you've got any comments or questions, please drop those in the comment section. As always, my name's been Paul C, and until next time, take care.